Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sharing with you guys a summer haul. So I did a little shopping for the boys. I got them some summer outfits, some sandals, a couple other things. And then I also went to Hobby Lobby. I caught some clearance sales. And I'm gonna share with you guys some things that I got um, for Ticket Samir's room, along with some items that I got to decorate my entryway. You guys know that I've been trying to decide what I wanna do with it. Um, I've thought of many different things and I decided that I'm going to do like a console table, a big one, and I just want to set it up and decorate it because I especially was thinking about fall and Christmas. You guys know that is my favorite time of year to decorate for and I just had this envision of how much I will love decorating that space when it comes to that time of year because I definitely want to put my Christmas tree right in the front in front of the window there that's just been Something I've always wanted to do. I love Christmas trees and windows and I love when you drive through neighborhoods and you see the trees and the windows. So I'm so excited that I have this big old front window right there in that entryway. And that's ideally what made me decide what I wanted to do with that space. So I got some items for that along with I did get a sign for my front porch. So I will be filming a video where I'm going to decorate that entryway along with my front porch because I have two things that I ordered on Amazon that I am waiting for that are not here. I think they're supposed to be here Sunday. Today's Friday. So I'm going to film that video starting over the weekend. I'll probably start working on the entryway. I got the console table and you just put it together, all that good stuff. But I figured I would show you guys what I bought for my boys to kind of get them started for the summer. I am going to get them more clothes. I did only get them a couple outfits each to start off because they do have some stuff from last summer, but a lot of their shorts, they were starting to outgrow because they were in 4T last year. This year they're in 5T and like boys size four or five and Lakin's had a little growth spurt as well so <clears throat> so I did go to Walmart's and Marshall's for their items I got outfits at Walmart mostly for Tink and Samir they didn't really have much that I liked for Lakin but I did get him two outfits from Marshall's that I would share with you guys if you guys are tuning in for the very first time, I do want to thank you so much for clicking on this video. I always appreciate any new subscribers that join the tribe here. All of your guys' love and support always just means so much to me. And I love to connect with you guys down in the comments. So absolutely, if it is your first time, make sure you say hello because I love that interaction. And also follow me on my Instagram. I do share quite a lot on there, mostly a lot on my stories for sure. And I always kind of communicate message um, all of you on there. I don't like to view you guys as subscribers. I like to view you more of as like my internet tribe, um, my extended family on the internet and my friends. You know, I just don't ever view you as just, oh, you're someone that watches my videos. I definitely love to interact. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I would appreciate it. If you aren't an Instagram person, I chat with you guys on here as well. So let's dive right into the video. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. Hopefully it gives you some ideas if you have boys or if you are just trying to shop and not spend a lot of money, period. So I'm gonna start off with some of like the swim item stuff. Um, I did get Lakin a pair of swimming trunks. I did get Take a Samir another pair as well, um, but I don't have one of them because their dad took them swimming. So I gave him one of theirs, but I do have Lakin's and the other boys. I did get this pack of goggles. These were six bucks, which is very cheap at Marshall's and it's the Nautica brand. So you literally pay $2 per goggle. And I know goggles can be pretty cheap and they break or they can be pretty expensive. And a couple, I wanna say like a month ago, Lakin took swim lessons and he kept begging me for goggles and I literally could not find them anywhere. They were like not even put out yet. So when I saw these at Marshall's, I said, I'm just gonna grab these now because he is going to be going to the YMC YMCA summer camp and they will be doing swimming and I just got the three pack I thought that was perfect because you guys know kids lose everything and I will not be surprised if within the first week he loses a pair so I got him the three pack and I am debating on if I'm going to put a pole in the backyard even if it's just something small for the kids I'm definitely thinking about that like him has been asking like can we get like a pool something so we'll have some goggles for at home and he can take these when he does the summer camp I got him this pair of swimming trunks. These were from Walmart. The They were $9 each. I think all of those were $9. I got Tink and Samir's in the boys section as well. But I love the color. I love the bright orange and how it kind of ombres out. 
but I thought these were cute for him. Lakin is definitely growing a little bit, so I got him his size, but I did husky. I didn't know that was such a thing. I think they have that in girls as well, so it's more a little bit more solid. He is definitely growing. He is tall, and sometimes it is very hard to find him clothes that fit him because they're either too small in the waist or too big in the waist since he's tall or they're too short but I got the husky kind because he I've noticed he is starting to thicken up a little bit so this has a little stretchy band and there is the tie in the inside so if these are a little too big he can tie them up then I got this pair for Tanker Samir they can wear whatever I thought these were cute the other ones I got I think they had sharks on them but I loved the green. I thought these were really cute. These were also $9. I suggest if you want to get cheap swimwear, go to Walmart, you guys. I've went to Target before, but Target, I feel like, can be a little overpriced. I just don't really want to spend, like, $16 or $20 for a swimming suit for them. I always go to Walmart, and I try to find them. This is the perfect time now. School is about to get out, so all that summer swim stuff is going to go quick. So run there. I know my Walmart had so many swimming suits, swimming trunks in stock. So hurry, run, snatch them up while you can. I got all of them a pair of sandals from Walmart. Lakin's were $9 and tickets to mirrors. Theirs was 11 I want to say, just round, round it up. But I got Lakin this pair. I thought he would really like these. They say Gaming Legend. I'll try to pull this out so you can see loved the colors he actually already saw these and he said these are so cool and i like how it had the little gaming controller and then the side had like the headphones but he's excited to wear these he had some other slides but i think they're getting too small so i got him these in a size four or five but he likes the slides i've got him like flip-flops he doesn't really care for them he feels like he trips over them he just likes the slide sandals better Then for Tank and Samir, I got them these, I guess, what are these, like, they're not Crocs, but what is the, like, name for these shoes? I thought clogs. That's what I think of, clogs. But they're not the Croc brand. These are from Walmart for $11. I got Batman. And Tank and Samir wear the same size, so I don't really ever assign one thing to just one of them. They kind of wear each of everything. One day, Samir might wear the Batmans, and then I also got Mickey Mouse ones that I thought were really cute. Tank saw these, and he was really excited. He's like, Mickey Mouse! But these were 11 bucks. They had a couple different kind, and they are in 11 12 I thought these would be perfect for him, too, because it's getting hot. I've noticed, I've tried, I cannot do the slide sandals for them. They trip right out of them. And flip-flops... I kind of feel like they hurt their toes in between and i just feel like boy sandals are ugly don't kill me but i feel like boy sandals are ugly girl sandals are so cute there's so many endless options but boys i was looking and it's like a lot of them look like grandpa sandals and i was like i'm not putting my kids in these so these are the best looking things to me and i figured these would be perfect especially daycare they're going to be outside a lot during the summer and they can just wear these and they'll be comfy i am going to try to find them another pair i'm still going to look but so far i'm not finding any actual like sandals that i like for them then i got for tank and samir the outfits that i got from them all of their outfits were from walmart they had a pretty decent selection of boys clothes it's kind of hit or miss for me i do love to get like shorts and pants from there especially like solid ones because i feel like you can match them with anything especially if it's like a name brand uh, shirt i always feel like if you want to save money buy like the pants and the shorts from like walmart or target and then get your shirts go to like marshall's ross if you're trying to get like nike or jordan or something like that because you would never know and you're gonna save money instead of getting the whole fit get some solid colored shorts or pants and then just get the nice top but i got this outfit it was just this shirt right here so see you later alligator and these shirts were 448 and i think the pants were 448 yep so under ten dollars per outfit which is a great deal but i just got these black shorts here They didn't have their, I got these in the 5T. They didn't have many colors of these that were in their size. That was the only one I could find. I think I'm going to go to another Walmart and try to find some more. Then I got this shirt, which I thought was cute. 
just a little solid gray in the back and in the front it does have that little pocket which I thought was cute and I got these just they're not actual like blue jean material I can't think of they make they remind me of like cargo pants in a way that material of them but I got the blue in these and these can match with any other shirt then I got this one loved the color of this and with that shirt I did these pants they got the dinosaurs on them I thought these were really cute I loved these pants pants shorts I thought these shorts were super cute and then the last outfit I got I love love the color of this green it's like a minty green so cute it just says bug expert with all the bugs which <laughs> this is funny tank is terrified of bugs you guys i mean like highly terrified of bugs he will freak out no matter what type of bug if it's a fly anything that boy will cry and scream so <laughs> i'm interested to see what he's gonna think when i try to put this shirt on him but then i got these shorts to match it Again, this color, I really, really love this color. I'm going to look for some other shirts to kind of go with this. Maybe if I can find some other shirts that have this pop of color. But I thought this color was my favorite out of those outfits. And then for Lakin, the one outfit I did get from get him from Walmart, they have that Reebok, Reebok selection there. I got him these shorts. Loved that color. Oops. And it just has the Reebok right there. I don't know if you can really see it, but then I got him this shirt that's the same color of that green to go with it. I thought these, that was cute. I think they were $11 each, right? So $22 for his outfit. He's a little bit older, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive for him. The older they get, the more it costs. Um, and then from Marshalls, I got him two outfits from Marshalls. I got him an Adidas outfit. These shorts were 10 bucks. Just some black shorts with the Adidas sign. And then I got him this shirt that was $11. I thought this was cute. He actually has some pants that are kind of similar to this that I think are by Adidas too. But I got him that shirt. And then I did find him this shirt. It was on clearance for $4. It's by Young and Reckless. Just a black solid shirt. And I saw these green shorts. These were 10 bucks. I thought these would look really cute with that shirt. And these are very like soft and comfy. These are by the Lucky brand, mm, 10 bucks. Not a bad price. Marshall's is like one of my favorite stores to go for the kids. I also really love going to Ross. There's not a Ross where I live. It's about like 45 minutes or so away. So I don't go there a lot since it's not like, I can hop in my car and boom, five minutes away. But my Marshalls, it's like, if they get something, you need to go there like as soon as they put it out because it's gone. But that was everything, the clothes side of it that I got for the kids. Like I said, I do wanna go and try to find some more things, but I just wanted to start off getting something and I wanted to keep it cheap and affordable because I have three boys that grow like crazy and they destroy everything like crazy. So I like to just keep everything budget friendly, but still have them looking cute. And I definitely will be snagging them up some more stuff. Next time I definitely go to Ross or like Burlington, I'm going to definitely try to find them a couple more outfits to get them through the summer. Now I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I did find this cute little like fake book stack it says our happy place this was $8.99 all tabletop decor was 50% off so I paid $4.50 for it thought it was really cute I don't that is gonna go in my kitchen because I want to take all my Easter stuff down and that little tiered tray I have in there I want to put something that's more neutral around so I also got this little tag there with a tassel this was a $4.99 originally but it was half off as well. I thought that was cute. And then for Take a Samir's room, you guys know I'm doing the car theme, which I got sick. 
uh, went back to work. It's just been super busy. There's just been a lot going on. I have still yet to put the room together. I mean, I got the bed set up and all of that, but I have not decorated the room. Everything is still just sitting there waiting for me to put it together. So when I was in Hobby Lobby, I'm like, oh, of course, they're going to have all this clearance. I wonder if they're getting new stuff in because they had literally so much of everything in the store on clearance for like dirt cheap so much stuff so i wonder if they're going to be getting like a new stock of stuff finally because i feel like there's a lot of things that they have that they've had there for like four years now so it's time for some new stuff but i found several things for the room that some of it i didn't see when i went there last time and i bought like the car stuff but I got this little wooden fire truck. It was on clearance for $1.74. Couldn't beat that. And it can hang up. But I think I'm going to set it on their TV stand. That's what I'm going to do with it. But if I wanted to like hang it on the wall or something, it has the little loop there. Then I got this sign that says squad goals. I thought this was really cute. And it has like the road strip going around. This was on clearance for $2.49. Then I grabbed two wall signs. These were on clearance for $5.49 each. There was this fire truck one. I thought that was so cute, so cute. And then this police car one. I'm so excited for their room, so excited. My mom was with me and she's like, her room's gonna be so cute when you're all done. But that was what I got for their room. Now the next two things, probably are my favorite out of everything because I've been on the hunt. As you can see, part of it is the sign for my porch. Uh, I've been trying to find a good sign and signs could be pretty expensive, very expensive. And I wanted a good like heavy one that was gonna last, that was gonna be neutral and I can keep out all year round if I want. They had the spring shop 50% off. So I ended up only paying $25 for the sign, which I was really excited. And then I had been looking on Pinterest with looking up ideas to decorate that console table and what is it called um now the name of it uh crap a mirrored window pane or something a wall pane or something like that i have been wanting one of those and i saw this idea on pictures that kind of gave my vision of how i want to set that space up and lo and behold hobby lobby had one on clearance and i snatched it so this was the porch sign that I decided to get. It just says, let me move it over here. Welcome to our home, sweet home. I thought that was really, really cute. And I liked the wood tone, it's pretty thick. If I wanted to hang it up, there was the things, but I'm just gonna set it outside, kind of leaning against. But I was really excited. When I saw that one, I was like, oh, that's the one I want to get. So that was the sign I decided to go with. The other ones they had, I didn't really care for them. But I went with that one because I thought it was neutral. I liked the little reef in the middle. And I thought it would look cute with kind of like the aesthetic I'm going for on my porch. Yes, I do still have Easter stuff up. I'm getting ready to take that down this weekend. <laughs> and then this is, I'm trying to think of the name of what this is called. But it originally, you guys was $74.99 and I got it for $18.74 this beautiful thing they had two of them left I grabbed this one because I only needed one I didn't want to get another one I was like what am I going to do with it but this matches the top of that console table that I got you guys will see it um because I like I said I'm gonna share a video where I'm doing the decorate but I thought that this was so pretty don't mind the laundry in the back but look at that. And this thing is heavy and it can't hang on the wall. Just wait until you guys see what I decide to do with it, how I'm going to set it up. But I really liked this. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, because this was something I was looking up online too. Some of the prices were pretty outrageous. And even like if I would have caught that 50% off, I still would have been paying more. So when I saw that that was on clearance, I was like, yes, that's mine. Taking it home, my Envision is coming to life. This thing is super heavy though. But it does have the hook, so if you wanted to hang it on the wall or however you would like to display it. That is going to sum up today's video, you guys. I hope you did enjoy it. They gave you some ideas, some inspiration. I cannot believe that it is about to be summertime. Here in Illinois, I feel like it skipped spring. It's been in the high 
80s almost 90 this whole week we're actually going to get <laughs> down into the 70s which i'm kind of excited for because i cannot stand 95 degree weather it's just too hot for me but we skipped spring we went from like 50 with our heat on last week to 90 degrees this week so everybody is getting sick that lovely summer cold i've actually have a very bad sore throat i've had it since wednesday because the lake and started getting sick on tuesday and wednesday with a sore throat and of course mommy got it i just got over having covid and then now i have lovely swollen sore throat and i've felt icky i feel better now but i'm just like can we get away <coughs> excuse me from the sickness like i'm over it i just want healthiness in this house but you guys know how that goes as a mom we get all of their cooties and we still just have to figure it out and keep it moving make sure you guys stay tuned for those upcoming videos i have some fun videos ahead like i said i'm going to be sharing the boys decorate with me for their room eventually hopefully very very soon and then i am going to be decorating my entryway and my porch and i also have some other videos that i've filmed that i will be sharing within the next upcoming week or two so until the next video you guys stay beautiful stay blessed and don't forget how strong and powerful you are I'll catch you guys in the next one.